Hi, today we are going to see about frequency response analysis using Bode plot. Introduction Time domain analysis Impulse, unit, step, ramp, etc. are used as input to the system. Frequency response of a system is the response of the system for sinusoidal input signal of various frequencies is used for frequency domain analysis. The block diagram of frequency response is given as the input is x of t which is given to a linear system and the output is y of t. The need was extraction of transfer function from time domain is difficult using differential equations. So using frequency response the transfer function can be easily obtained from the experimental data. A system may be designed so that effects of noise are negligible. Analysis and design are extended to certain non-linear control systems. The design of controller can be easily done in the frequency domain method as compared to time domain method. Specifications Resonant frequency omega r The frequency at which the system has maximum magnitude is known as the resonant frequency. At this, the slope of magnitude curve is zero. Resonant peak Maximum value of magnitude which is in between 1 to 1.5 cutoff frequency the frequency at which the magnitude g of j omega is 0 0.707 times less than its maximum bandwidth for feedback control systems the range of frequencies over which m is equal to or greater than 0 0.707 mr is defined as bandwidth omega b when m r equal to 1, bandwidth equal to cutoff frequency. The bandwidth of a control system indicates the noise filtering characteristics of the system. Cutoff rate, rate of change of slope of magnitude at cutoff frequency. Gain margin, amount of gain in decibels that can be added to the loop before the closed loop system becomes unstable. The gain crossover is the point at which the magnitude plot cross over 0 dB. Phase margin, amount of phase shift in degrees that can be added to the loop before the closed loop system becomes unstable. Phase crossover, the point at which the phase plot crosses 180 degree. Bode plot, the purpose of the Bode plot is to draw the frequency response of OLTO and to find the closed loop system stability. It is also used to find the relative stability by using gain margin and phase margin. The body plot con consists of two parts. The first one is magnitude plot and the second one is phase plot. The procedures for drawing a body plot is the first step is replace S equal S into J omega to convert it into frequency domain. Write the magnitude and convert it to dB. Magnitude equal to 20 log g of j omega. Find the angle. Vary omega from minimum to maximum value and draw the approximate magnitude and phase plot. Basic factors are gain, pole at the origin, multiple poles at the origin, zero at the origin. Likewise, constant gain shift is given in this diagram and the pole at origin is given in this slide zero at origin is shown in this figure simple pole at origin is also shown in this figure simple zero at origin Comparison between n finite poles and n finite zeros. Comparison between n poles at origin and n zeros at origin. Steps to sketch body plot. Express given g of s h of s in time constant form. Draw a line of 20 log k. Draw a line of appropriate slope representing poles or zeros at the origin passing through the intersection point of omega equal to 1 and 0 dB. 
Shift this intersection point on 20 log K line and draw parallel line to the line drawn in step 3. Change the slope of this line at various corner frequencies by appropriate value. For a pole, slope must be changed by 20 dB. For a simple zero slope, changed by plus 20 dB. Continues this slope line till it intersects last corner frequency. Prefer the phase angle plot and table and obtain the table of omega and resultant phase angle psi r by actual calculation. Plot these points and draw a smooth curve obtaining necessary phase angle plot. Gain and phase margin. Gain margin. Factor by which system gain is increased to bring the system to the verge of stability. Phase margin. Additional phase lag required to add system at omega gc to bring system to stability. The frequency at which the magnitude equal to 1 in linear and 0 in dB. The frequency at which angle is minus 180 degree. The graph shows phase angle and magnitude. Gain margin. The gain margin is the factor by which the gain is less than the neutral stability value. We can usually read the gain margin directly from the body plot. This is done by calculating the vertical distance between the curve and at the frequency. Phase margin. Another quantity related to determine stability margin is the phase margin. This is a different way to measure how well stability conditions are met in a given system. Phase margin is determined by how much the phase of exits. The figure shows that for a system to be stable, a positive phase margin is required. From the figures, we can also see that the gain margin indicates the amount that the gain can increase before a system becomes unstable. The phase margin is calculated by measuring the difference between the and when crosses the circle. The stable cases receives the phase margin positive value. Crossover frequency A gain of factor 1 where both input and output are at same voltage level and the impedance is known as unity gain. When the gain is at this frequency, it is often referred to as crossover frequency. Frequency response design is practical because we can easily evaluate how gain changes affect certain aspects of the system. Example problems are shown. Thank you.